Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Unity 101. Uh, today I will be showing you three new techniques. The first technique will be how to add a skybox into your level so it doesn't have a blank uh, sky like this. Secondly, I'll be showing you how to add water to a level, which is fairly simple as well. And thirdly, we'll even go into a bit more detail on terrain building. So let's start off with the with the skybox. It's very simple, the skybox. So first, let me go back into the game view. Remember, you can uh, increase your scene view by pressing spacebar, but uh, you can't actually play the game in this sort of scene, so keep that in mind. Okay, so as you can see, uh, earlier on I built a, a very quick island surrounded by rocks and a desert. I mean, desert, I mean beach. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes to do. It's very simple. It's all built with Unity assets, so everyone can do this if they want. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Edit. We're going to scroll down, click on Render Settings. This will bring a box on the side here. You'll see you'll have loads of options, but the option we're looking at is Skybox Material. Click on Skybox Material. Scroll down. Select the one you want. You've got Overcast Skybox, Overcast 2. As you can see, that adds in a nice overcasty sort of thing. If we're going to go for a, a nice, nice bright level, we'd probably use a different Skybox. So let's pull up a sunny Skybox. You can find them down here. Generally, I like to go with this one. It's nice and sunny, and there's the sun. It's all nice. So there you go. Now, if I go to play, and I look up, there you go. You have a skybox in the game. How easy is that? Two minute job. That's to add a pre built skybox. Uh, that's You can get these from the asset store, and you get skyboxes that come with Unity uh, alone. To make them, though, is a completely different story. I'd have to do a completely different video showing you how to make a skybox in Photoshop using textures. It's fairly simple, but I'll probably do that at a later date. Okay, so now we've added a, a skybox. We still need water because this area is blank. So what we do, in Unity Basic you'll have this. If you go into Assets, uh, Import Package, you've got Asset, Water, Basic and Water Pro. And if you've got Pro, make sure you use this one. Because these shaders are much better than the uh, basics. So. What we're going to use, we're going to use the daylight uh, shader. We're going to drag that in, plop that down, zoom in on it, make sure it's nice and level. See, see, we don't want that light, we want it a bit higher. But we don't want it too high that it's going to hit the beach. So let's push it over here. There you go, see? That, that just slides under the beach. That's about the, um, that's about the height we want it. So now we press R. That'll bring us up to our new tool, which is the uh, increase size tool. A certain radio. If you ratio, if you click on the blue and drag it out, it'll drag it that way. If you click on the red, it'll drag it that way, and obviously this drags it up. But if you click this and then just go poof, like that, there you go. It increases the size. Obviously, we want to move it in the center. So let's move it in the center. Well, centerish. We don't want to get perfect, but that'll do. And then increase the size again. And now, if we play the game again, there we go. We have water. And this water should hopefully have some kind of animation, but do keep in mind it is only basic animation. It is only Unity basic assets, which come free with Unity. There you go, yeah. It has a little bit of animation. Now, if you were using Unity Pro, it would be a lot more clearer. You'd be able to see the bottom of the floor, and you'd be able to see stuff reflecting through it. Even the skybox reflects through it. So it is a lot nicer uh, shader, but obviously I, that's in Unity Pro. I'm using Unity Basic right now, because I'm on my home PC. But yeah, as you can see, that's how you do an island. Uh, but keep in mind, one thing you need to know is, since this is an island, it doesn't matter whether you have that uh, horizon point over there. But if you're doing something like uh, uh, pills or a jungle biome or anything like that, make sure you add something to block out the uh, never-ending horizon over there. Uh, because it looks like it just goes on forever. So what the best idea is people use is, you can use mountains to block it off, or you can use... Uh, you can use a, a 2D border, like a, a billboard, if you will, to make it make it look like it continues on, but it doesn't. That's the best way to stop the uh, whole illusion of it continuing on and players trying to get there. So, now we've done that, that's very simple. Now I'm going to show you how to do some uh, basic terrain, well, sorry, intermediate terrain. So let me load up a scene. Uh, don't save that, we don't care. Okay, so, I did these earlier. Actually, I did this one during a stream, and this one was the one I was going to show you. So ignore this one here. Uh, so as you can see here, we have sort of an, a nice little like, game sort of biome here. It's like a hill sloping up. Now this is a uh, fairly easy to do. It may look a bit more complex, but it's just a mix of uh, how to add uh, textures in and how to smooth off 
um, to rain. But the thing is, in the first uh, Unity 101, I showed you how to use this brush, which is the Raisin Lower. We don't use this at all in this entire uh, intermediate thing. It's good for mountains, but other than that, not really. So we're going to go into the second brush, which is the Paint Height. We're going to go over here. We're going to select the height by holding down Shift. That will bring us up to 63. Sorry about that, I was um, interrupted. Okay, so holding down shift and then getting the size here, see, that brought the height up to 63. Obviously that's a bit low, so we'll just, well, a bit high, we'll round up to 64 just to be nice and uh, symmetrical. Okay, so let's go away over here, so we're not in the way of them. Let's increase our uh, size brush, and if we start painting now, as you can see, it stops at 64. So that's the highest it'll go. It's nice. So let's make sure it's nice and big, there we go. Now we'll decrease it for 63. And then we'll start painting here. Now we'll decrease that to 62. And then paint this here. There we go. And then 61. We'll have 61 over here. So you get the idea, it's like that. Now, the problem with this is right now is if I get down to height level. It doesn't look very natural how you go up that. It looks very bumpy. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop on the smooth brush. And we're going to just go like that. There we go. That takes it. Only do it the parts you want to go up though. Don't bother doing it at the sides. Just do it the parts you want to go up. So it makes it look a lot more smoother. And uh, yeah, it makes it look like you can actually get up there. There we go. So there you go. Now if I go to this. Let's get away from all this. How is this over here? It looks a lot more smoother and it looks like you can actually get up that way. This way looks more mountainous. Obviously you can still get up it. Don't get me wrong. But this way looks a lot more pathish. So it sort of leads the player in a linear direction. Without showing them the direction if you will. It's like that. Nice and easy to get to the top. Looks all nice. And there you go. Very simple. So that's how you make a sort of a sloping uh, hill. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some texture. We're going to go to here. We're going to get our rock one. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to paint the sides of this. So if I get here, I want to decrease the brush size definitely. But there we go about that. I'll just add the little rock formation. This will add the detail. Actually, make sure you don't go off the sides too much. Because that can break the uh, illusion. So let's paint it across here as well. So I'm just going to quickly do this. It may be rushed, but we'll deal with that. It's a bit too strong as well. Mix with the uh, mess and mix with the target strength and the uh, other stuff as well to get more of a realistic uh, blend. I'm just doing it with this now so you can understand. There we go. So we add this to the side like this. I know it's a bit too strong, like, but what can we do? You understand, guys? Just mess with the uh, opacity and the mess with the uh, target strength of the brush until they get a nice blend. Because this is this is overpowering right now. Uh, but yeah, let's go around this anyway. So, continue on. I'll cut back to the video when uh, this is done. Okay, so there you go. We've added it in. It's like I said, it's overpowering, so make sure you mess with it. You want something like uh, something like that level. Why it's not too overpowering? So that's, that's about half the target strength I'm using right now. So what we want to do now is we want to get on our other texture, which is the uh, grass. Now, if you look at that right now, that's very overpowering. So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean by now. We turn the target strength down to about 3.6, increase the brush size, and now look at it. See how it blends with the texture below as well. So we can just quickly smash this all over here. Like so. We can even go over the texture just spawn to be honest. It won't make much of a difference. Since the texture we added below is a higher uh, target strength, it won't really get rid of it. It'll just blend in a bit more. So that's nice. Make sure you do go over it on the points there then. Like so. Like I'm just rushing this, so. Uh, you get the idea. I guess just do that as well, so we know where we're coming in. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, very quickly doing this. Uh, as you can see, it's it's a very simple thing. Uh, this is actually uh, a good way to, to, to learn how to texture, though. You need to uh, make sure all the as much texture as you can on a detail because it adds more detail as you go. Okay, so there we go. 
So that looks okay for now. Obviously, I'm still not happy with the sides of being overpowered, but that's fine. Now you want to add a path. Now increase the target strength to one again because you want this to be visible and not blending. What we're going to do, we're going to start the path here and just drag it. Ooh, that's a bit big. Decrease your brush size as well, and then start our target path and just follow it up like that. Make sure you go up the ramps you made, like so. Obviously, you can have the path leading off if you want. You can have like the path splitting here and going down there, as you would in a game. But yeah, there you get the idea. And then over here. So now we've had our path. That looks nice. It looks like it's, it'd actually be in a game. What we want to do now is add some uh, foliage. So we get a tree. Not that big of a density though. Let's decrease the bush size. Just add a few trees and make it look a bit more realistic. Just add more you want to. You don't have to have too many trees. Because sometimes it can be overpowering. Like that. There we go. That's enough. Depends what you're doing. Like I said, get some bushes in there. Because bushes are nice. Do, do, do. Uh, 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 uh. And then we want some grass as well. Let's just set some grass and we'll finish it off. Not too much grass. Well, you don't you don't want too much unless it's like a very sort of like a hilly sort of biome. This is more of a rocky region, so let's just add a little bit of grass here and there and everywhere else. You know, make sure it doesn't go on the uh, path though, cause you, unless it's like a meant to be like that. Unless you want it like that. Let's just go over there a little bit and see what I'm doing. There we go. A bit here, a bit there, a bit there. There we go. Now, if we go in here, obviously we're a bit of distance away because I still haven't moved the first best controller. Uh, we can see that we now have a path that leads us straight up, and it looks quite nice. Obviously, this would need a bump texture. I'd have to show you all the guys how to do that to make it look more realistic, but you get the idea. So we can follow this up. Oh no, we have a fork in the road. Go up here. Nice grass textures, all that jazz, and up here, and there you go. Nothing to it at all. Now, well, just going over what we did earlier as well. Add a skybox, edit, render settings, skybox material. We're going to make this one more of a cloudy uh, skybox. Let's go over overcast 2. Let's have a look what that looks like. Yeah, I'll do. Let's add some water in here as well, so you know what water. Boop. Let's add it over here, though, only. So we don't have to mess with the levels too much. Let's increase it a slight bit. And just press F if you want to zoom in. On your thing, see? And increase that a slight bit. Like, not too much. We don't want it to literally overpower the first level at all. So let's drag it the first level. Drag it down a little bit. There we go, that's about right. Okay, F again. Uh, sorry, not F again. R again. Increase the size. The point. Where it is covering the island, uh, there you go. Now, if we go on here again, obviously the water will like sort of cut off here. Then you can sort of see underneath the water as well. What I mean by if you try and swim under this, there'll be nothing under that. I'll show you how to add texture under there when we get to that point. So, we have our little thing here with a path. We can go up it, looks nice, looks pretty. Got our skybox in, and that's basically all of uh, I have to show you today. Uh, I will be doing some more Unity 101s, and we'll be doing some uh, modeling 101s pretty soon as well, since our modeler's now back. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the description, in the description, sorry, the comment section. If you have any requests, leave it in the comment section. If you like this, like, favorite, subscribe, let me know what I did right, let me know what I did wrong, you get the idea. Uh, yeah, so, cheerio guys.